we really need to run our dishwasher. So I'm eating with Leanne's fork because we only have one. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, Ben and I are finally doing our mukbang slash mukbang. Still not entirely sure how to pronounce it. We talked about doing a Q&A mukbang. <laughs> we talked about doing a Q&A mukbang like months ago, so we're finally doing it. Today's mukbang is sponsored by Home Chef, so the meal we're going to be eating while answering your questions is a Home Chef meal. You guys know how much I love Home Chef. I've talked about them so many times. So before we dive into the questions, for those of you who don't know, I will tell you a little bit about Home Chef. So, Home Chef is a meal kit delivery service. It's our personal favorite. We use it every single week, just about. It is super convenient. They send meals directly to your door that are super quick and easy to make and really, really delicious. So let me show you guys what we have this week. So the first meal we have here is chicken piccata. This is actually what we're making tonight. You guys know if you watch my vlogs, my favorite meal of Ben's that he ever makes is chicken piccata. So I'm curious to see how this one measures up to his. And I'm just making gluten-free for me by using gluten-free pasta and then gluten-free flour for breading the chicken. We also got this week a steak and blue cheese flatbread. And then we also got pork flautas, which I've actually never had a flauta. And so these are our meals for the week. They send you all your ingredients in a bag that's labeled with your meal and they all come in one box, all refrigerated, nice and cold so that everything is fresh by the time you put it in your fridge. Very convenient. Leans squawking in the background. Home Chef has so many different options to choose from, way more than any other meal kit delivery service, and they even offer breakfast options, no cook lunch options, and they've now included a couple of express dinner options where things are actually coming pre-sliced so that you literally just have to cook them. I've said before how convenient it is for us in our busy life with a baby. If you're new to my channel, we have a six month old and sometimes grocery shopping is just a pain. It's been especially helpful to have Home Chef during the holidays because one, life is really, really busy and this just makes things way simpler. And two, who wants to brave the grocery store during the holiday season when everyone is stocking up for their holiday meals? I don't want to go. So this makes our life a little bit easier when it comes to cooking and convenience. If you wanna try Home Chef, I will have a link down below where you can get $30 off your first box, which is a really, really amazing deal. I definitely suggest it. You certainly don't have anything to lose. If anything, you just get a really delicious and easy box of food delivered to your door. So now we just have to put this little booger to bed and then we can film our mukbang and cook our dinner. He says, I want some chicken piccata. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, it's, oh my gosh. Oh no. How mine? Mine's perfect, look. Mine slid off the plate. Okay, show, wow. Ben's is fancier than mine. Yellow, there, there's Ben's plate. It looks really good. Welcome to our very first mukbang. bang a -rang. We really need to run our dishwasher. So I'm eating with Leanne's fork because we only have one. I have a salad fork. <laughs> So that's how so formal. our first month is going. Before we get into the questions, we should probably take some food. This is really seriously terrible, actually. <laughs> okay, toddler baby forks are not uh, not easy to cut with. First of all, this looks good. First of all, we're going to try our best not to be loud eaters because I know that that's well, like, not going to that. I'm going to try to eat fast, but I usually scarf this down without saying a word to you. Yeah. Now I have to have a full on conversation. This is going to be difficult. How is it, madame? You good? I'll be the judge of that. Mm. Chicken piccata is one of my favorite foods, so I'm into it. I asked you guys on Instagram stories to send questions, so that's where I got these. So if you ever want to participate in QA in the future, follow me on Instagram because that's like where I ask. I honestly cannot get food on my fork. So, a fork. Yeah. This and your is toy? Really difficult. You can use mine. Okay, so let's just dive right in with the uh, questions that every single person sent me regarding. Really? Yeah. I have no idea what the questions future are. Future children. Everyone know. wanted to know about future children. We barely so, have one right now. <laughs> that's how I felt too. So, um, do we want kids in the future? Well, go ahead. Yes, we want more ah. kids. 
Do we want more kids? That's the only question. Yes, we want more kids. I think so, yeah. yeah. It's hard to know what future Ben and Brennan are going to want. As of right now, we want more kids. One more kid. Maybe that was the next question. Oh. Can you imagine having one, two? Well, I always thought I wanted three. Uh, a lot of work. But I, um, I think- Apparently they cost money, too. I think two will be good for us. So that's the next question was how many kids do we want? I think we'll probably be good with two, but you just never know. I mean, maybe we'll want a third one, who knows? It'd be cool to get a girl next time. Oh, the next question? I'm, I mean, <laughs> He's literally reading my mind of the question. Well, that was the next question. Is it all people care about? Yes, I, that, we're starting with all the kids' questions because I got so many. Is angel hair pasta the best pasta ever made? Thanks for rubbing Angel hair in. pasta is the best pasta. I don't get that. I'm eating gluten-free fettuccine. That looks good. That was the next question was, do we want a boy or a girl? Um, I've said before that I always thought I would never have boys and I always wanted girls. And so the fact that like, I'm saying I'd be totally fine with having another boy is so weird to me, but I would be. But if we like got to choose, we would choose a girl probably just probably. to have both experiences. But at the same time, it'd be really fun for Lane to have a brother. So. Exactly, yeah. You kind of have two boys and boy stuff. Or so. Boy and a girl, I think, are going to get to a certain age where they're going to, I don't know, go a separate way sooner than if you had two of the same mm -hmm. sex, maybe. They probably fight more. I don't know the same sex would fight more. I don't know about fight more. They would annoy each other more. I think the same sex would annoy each other more. Why? Because they're like into the same things and like the same girls. Huh. No, no. How often did you and your sister fight over the same guy? We were Besides eight years me. apart. <laughs> so, so we did. That'd be I actually tried to steal my sister's boyfriend when she was in high school and. Um, was going to prom and I was like, oh my gosh, how old was I probably? 10, Eleven? Uh, yeah. Nine. Uh, I got dressed in a dress and tried to go with them. Because I was in love with her boyfriend. <laughs> oh, oh no. Yeah, so next question. You've always liked them all there. Regarding yeah. kids is um, how far apart do we want Leon and the next child? At least two years. I would say that, yeah. As of now, I'm nowhere near ready for another one. I think between two and three years is like what we've talked about, but again, that could change. I'm definitely I, not wanting to have them back to back. I don't know why I always think of this because it's such a small time in your life, but I always think, oh, I don't want them to be so far apart that they're not, they can't be in high school. Yeah, I think about that too. But it's like, that's such a, that's like one year of their life. Yeah, but too far apart and they're not going to like each other for a long time. Like, my sister and I were so far apart and we did not like each other really for a long time. Mm -hmm. Until we were older. Because you're just different. Let's get to the juicy mm -hmm. stuff. How did we meet? Do you want to answer that one? I mean, do we, should we answer that one? We've answered it before. Do we want to give a quick rundown? Because our story is kind of unique, but I feel like we've talked about it on my channel before. Or do you want me to? We already knew each other's family, kind of. Like, I knew your sister, you knew my brother, acquaintance. And then, like, we met on Instagram. We started talking on Instagram, and then we decided to meet. He literally asked my sister what my Instagram name was to look me up. Yeah. And then started was, following like, half, me, half but we never met. But I knew his brother, because his brother's married to my sister's friend, so. Yeah. And then they wanted to say you was my younger brother. Yeah. But then I saw your picture and I was like, nah, I got dibs. No, that was like when well, oh. they wanted to set me up with him. I had a boyfriend at the time and Ryan had a girlfriend at the time, so it like didn't work. But then you moved home, and I was like, I asked my sister, I was like, which one is this, the middle one or the younger one? He's the middle one, so Ben's six years older than me. Not. Well, you and Ryan have the same birthday, so that would never work out. <laughs> That's true. Did we receive any negative comments about our baby's name choice? No. Not for our face. The only thing that people <laughs> said to us was that their people are going to think it's Liam. No, you can tell people are like, oh, that's a nice name. And then they're thinking, what did they just say? Yeah. But, but no, it, nobody said, like, I don't like that name. But then you get some people like, that's a really cool name, it's unique. Especially after we tell them that it was your grandpa's name. Yeah. I think it's really cool. We like it, and that's all that really matters. Yeah. Um, how do you guys make time for yourselves now that you have a baby? 
I don't know if this means like ourselves individually or like together. I think together. We don't. But we do. Like we we just hang out together at home. Like that's where we're happiest is we're home. For us, a happy time together is like what you ever have seen in my most recent vlog is us literally playing video games side by side, like after late goes to bed. Right? Like yeah, we're in bed on our iPads yeah. or on the couch or Just like something. hanging out. Just hanging out. At home. And we make time for it by doing it when he goes to bed. And like, honestly, sometimes other things that should take priority, uh, we don't do. Like, clean the house instead to hang out together. So. It's hard. But you it's just. A balance. You, know, you gotta find time for each other. You gotta find time for yourself when you can. That is hard. Even if it's a half hour a day. There's not a lot of it. Yeah, like me, I anytime Ben's home, around the time I want to take a shower, like I'll go and spend a half hour in the shower just to get some alone time. This is one you'll like. What's your dream car, including extra features? Dream car? I don't know now. The only car I think about is a family car now. What about fancy Kia? K900 for like a luxury car, that'd be cool. We're but that's not my dream family. car. Oh. A Tesla. I would love to have one. It would be a cool family car, a Tesla. Mine? I don't really have, I'm not really like a big Our car guy. Like, I used to want an Audi A5 or S5, but no way would I want that now. It's not practical for our family. Mine would be a white Range Rover. like. I don't know what even kind. I just I can see you in that. Love smaller like SUV style cars that are white. We can get you one of those tomorrow. Okay. What's the best thing about being married. I think it's having a built-in best friend all the time. That's around hanging out with and like I feel like Ben understands me more than anybody ever has or ever would or ever could. And so having him here with me all the time is like really nice. Yeah, that's cool. Just the security of. Knowing you have a partner for life, like, because you can, building a future in a family together. Yeah, and experiencing things together, like having a baby and seeing Leon learn all these things and like mm -hmm. having someone to do that with. Yeah. Someone that you want to do it with. Mm -hmm. I'm almost done, I'm showering. Yeah, what else would you like to do? I don't know if I'm chewing loud or scarfing or what. Um, this one's for me. How much weight I gained during pregnancy and how I lost my baby weight. So I think I gained like exactly 20 pounds. Uh, my last doctor's That's it. yeah, my last doctor's appointment I was at 19 I think, and then I or like close to 20, and then I gave birth like five days after that or something. Um, he says that's it, but you can't really tell probably much on camera. But like I'm a very very small person, and so I didn't have like a lot of place to gain the weight and. How did I lose the baby weight? Like people will probably hate me for saying this. Please don't hate me, but I just, it just, I, it just, I lost it. When the um, baby came out, I lost <laughs> literally, it. Literally, <laughs> it was pretty much all. I've always been very, very small, and I've always had a very, very fast metabolism. It's just my body. Like I wish that I was curvier, but I'm literally a straight little board and very small. So I don't have any advice for that. I breastfed my baby and it just came off, and I birthed him and I came off. Yes, good one. Any advice for other couples with PCOS trying to conceive? I'm feeling defeated after a year of trying. It's tough. I don't, I don't know. But what's crazy is we look where we are now. Yeah. We have a six month old. We never, like, the focus was always on getting pregnant, getting pregnant. And now it's like, that is so far in the past. Uh -huh. It's like, you never think that's going to come, but time flies. Yeah, it's like a blip, like, of a memory. Like, I felt like that was such a long period of our life. But like, really, it's gone, and like he's here, and I think just look towards the future and know that like, know that your path is not going to be as easy or the same as most people's, but that like you'll get there in the end. It's just not going to be the way you might have expected it. And like once it happens, like it doesn't even matter because I always say that like had I got pregnant any other month, it wouldn't have been Leon, and I know that it was supposed to be Leon. And I think when you are going through all of it, like your two week weights and stuff, don't focus on the symptoms, don't dwell on everything, don't like wonder if you're pregnant, just live your life and it makes it a lot easier. Easier said than now. Yeah, it consumes your whole life. Everything is all about getting pregnant, getting pregnant, trying to 
enjoy the journey if you can. And still enjoy life. Life is still happening. Yeah. Because once it comes and it, it happens. It's really stressful. It's like. It really is just like a distant memory. So. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm still eating, but Ben's done, so. I'm not going to play like. Long. As soon as you're say I'm full, I'm going to eat the rest of it. I'm not going to be full. I'm going to finish this. Why am I my fork? I'm going to grow up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm going to offer it sooner. I'm sorry. I didn't like seeing you struggle. You were twirling that pasta for 20 minutes. Oh, cool. You got one strand. I forgot to drink any of my drink. Thank you to Home Chef for feeding us this meal. Yeah, another good meal. Thank you to Ben for cooking it. Yeah. We seriously, honestly, truly like pretty much almost every single meal we try from Home Chef. We're like, that was really good. Yeah. So if you guys want to try Home Chef, again, I'll have the link and the code down below to get you $30 off. And I highly recommend trying it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd be interested in more Q&A mukbangs, mukbangs, then let me know. Bang, bang. It's kind of fun. And I'll see you in my next video.